Hello, dear beautiful lights. December 2022, we have reached the end. Literally, we have reached the end of this year. It's December. And what we sensed for 2022, before it started, that it will be challenging, that surely was the case for most humans on this planet. So 2022 was definitely a challenging year. But we're at the end of this challenging year. Now 2023 is awaiting <laughs> its commencement. And uh, yes, I can confirm, it will probably not be less challenging. However, we're at the end of this year. We've reached the end but we've also reached the end of certain deceptions that we had swallowed for many, many years, that we had believed in for many, many years. And the end of deception, the end of lies, the end of untruths that we have been fed, this is also what we are experiencing, what we're going to experience in December and moving forward into the new year 2023. We've reached the end of the old consciousness. We have reached the end of thousands of years of a system that was built on hierarchy, that was built on beliefs of there is a separation between us, there is a uh, certain group of people who can dictate what others have to do who are not part of that group and we have come to the end of this. Now it possibly will not be happening as fast as most of you would like it to happen but we are transitioning. We have reached the end of the old consciousness and humanity is ready to as a collective evolve. We're not going to destroy ourselves staying at this level of consciousness. We have done this in the past often enough on this planet, on other planets. 3D consciousness, yeah? War consciousness, conflict consciousness, suppression consciousness, elite, non-elite consciousness, separation consciousness. We've done it over and over and over again. Now we've come to the end. We are starting to realize we can never transcend this if we do not open up our consciousness, <laughs> if we do not get what we need to get, that this has no future, that this approach to one another, this approach to evolution and development and growth has no future. It will always destroy itself because it's not mature enough, it's not conscious enough to, let's say in relation to technology, use it wisely because there's no wisdom. And technology in the hands of a non-wise person, dangerous thing. So we have come to the end of that type of consciousness and more and more people realize we cannot go on as a species acting this insanely. Still thinking, if I do something to a fellow human being, there is, there is benefit in this. If I do something negative, something harmful, deliberately. Well, for the ego, it seems that way. But the egoic way is a nil, the delusional way of living. As long as we're identified with the self, with the little self, with the ego, we're living in a dream world. We are not living in reality. And now we've come to the end of this illusion, to the end of this dream or nightmare, whichever, possibly both, and we're starting to wake up. And many souls are here to help this. Many souls have come here for hundreds of years to help this, maybe even longer, thousands of years, at different points in time, to help this evolution of, evolution of consciousness. And now we're transitioning into the, the, the next level of consciousness, let's say. But the symptoms that we see of this transition is 
The world is all over the place. And we will see more of this in 2023. And now, when I tune into 2023, what I see and get confirmed over and over again as well as what comes up for me is concrete aspects of warfare that has been going on, secret warfare. These aspects will become more known to people, to us. Namely, the manipulation of weather. So you can cause floods, you can cause droughts, you can get people to starve. You do not have to invade with an army. You do not have to take a gun and shoot anybody. This can be done. And my sense is that in 2023 and moving forward, it will become more seen that this has been going on already so that war-like action has happened on a global scale already has been happening and we have just been unaware of it. So my sense is those things will also come up and will be seen, will be brought to daylight. And again, that, that will also mark the end of the illusions that we've held, that we believe what we are being told because it's on a television screen. And we think that if it's on a television screen, it has importance. Because for some reason, this is whatever news it is or whatever. It has meaning. It has importance. It's there. Everybody gets to see it. So they must be responsible when they put it out there. We have all these perceptions, maybe stemming from the, I don't know, 60s, 70s, 80s. That's kind of the time when television became more and more um, prevalent and, uh, and important in people's lives. That it's like... You believe what you what they say, what's being said, because because they must know what they talk about. Otherwise, they couldn't dare to say this in front of the whole nation or the whole world. Well, that's a misperception, and we're at the end of that. We will come to realize that, who, it doesn't matter whether it's a lie or whether it's the truth. If there's a certain intent behind it. If there's a certain intent to get a certain effect, to create a certain opinion in the public, it'll be put out in a certain way. And we as human beings need to become a lot more aware of the manipulation strategies that are being used in language terms, in image terms, in every article you read in your local paper. There is no neutral reporting. Well, almost none. You read an article and take this. It's actually just coming in now as, a, as an experiment. From now on, when you read something or you listen to something, find the bias in it. Filter out, not hear it and say, I want the information because it's not information you're being fed. It's the intent of how you should react. That's what you're getting. So listen to the intent. When you listen to something, someone speak on the telly, on the news, on the internet, or you read an article, make it your job, your task to find the bias. Find out, is this person who's writing this, are they pro or against? Or is the message of the article for or against? So they might put out both arguments, both details, um, both sides. But you will see by the words and how they're being used, which one is favorable and how you're supposed to think about this. And this is so interesting. Once we wake up to that, we see that everything is manipulation strategy, almost everything. Look at the communication that's happening, especially if it's public, especially if there's stuff being put out there and start to question. We're at the end of the infancy stage when we believe what we're being told because we see authority in somebody. That we, we think, well, they're in government, well, they're in business, well, they're, they have money, they have prestige, they have written a book, they have... And then we give our power away and believe in the authority and what they say we believe. Well, we are 
a lot more than now we are already starting to question, but a lot more people will have to, and this is happening, start to question everything, especially what you have believed for so long, what we have seen as truth and as unshakable for so long, because most of the stuff was deception. So we need to take our blinkers off, our blindfolds off. And yes, it's, it hurts to let go of the old world. But if the old world was a lie, why not embrace a new one that we create from sincerity, honesty, authenticity, freedom, self-empowerment. This is the world that we are heading towards. Now, some people will not want that. And this is why we have this war in consciousness but we're moving towards it. So for December, I invite you to let go, like bring to the end, allow it to be the end of all stuff that you no longer need to hold on to. Your belief systems, your thoughts, your problems, certain problems that you've repeated again and again and again, that you don't need to. You learn the lessons, you see you've learned the lessons, so let them go and don't just continue with them because they're habits. And that way, once you allow these to be finished and you're done with them, you have created an openness in your energy for the new stuff you want to create moving forward. Okay? I'm going to love you and leave you into this month, December 2022, and we're going to talk again next time if you want to. <laughs>